Good day. In this video, I'm going to solve all these riders that you see. Stop the video and see if you want to know how they are answered. There is a video as introduction to theorem 2 that explains everything that you see here now. It explains the theorem itself. The theorem says an angle that's subtended by an arc at the center of the circle is double the size of the angle subtended by the same arc at the circle. Just type in what you see in purple here and it will explain to you how these shapes work. But we just have to know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference in each one of these sketches. In each of the riders we're going to solve now, we have to work out what the value of x is. We can see that this x is angle at the center and that 40 degrees is the angle at the circumference. In every one of these circles, when you see a center, you can assume that it is the center. That will not usually happen in geometry. So O will be the center of the circle every time. You will then write x equals to 80 degrees, and then you must give a reason. Angle at center equals 2 times angle at circumference. Now, typically what they do in geometry, they now go and put the 100 on this side and put the x on that side. You know that the angle at the center is twice as big as the angle at the circumference. You will write x equals to 50 degrees. But you must give a reason. Angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. I say again, for this video's purposes, O will be the center of the circle every time. Don't get a fright because the circle looks different now. Again, we've got to work out the value of x. That is angle at the center. That's the angle at the circumference. So use your calculator and you just write x equals to 62 degrees. Now you must give your reason. Angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Now slowly more and more things will come into these riders. If you look at this sketch, they told us that that angle over there and that's new to you now, is 90 degrees. So if that angle is 90 degrees because of the block, little block over there, I know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So you will write x equals to 45 degrees. You must give your reason. Angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Please stop the video now and look at these, these two riders and make them their, your own. Although the sketch looks different, same question. We have to solve for x. Using your calculator, you know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. You write x equals to 228 degrees. And your reason, angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Now be careful, don't just jump into the theorem. Remember, they gave me 100 degrees is the angle over here. And they asked me to work out the x over here. This 100 and this x is not related. So we have to find out the size of the angle over there first. Because... There's an arc over there. So now we work out the size of angle O1. And if you look creatively, you'll see its angles around a point. So it'll be 360 degrees altogether. So I wrote, wrote O1 equals 360 minus the 100. Do you have to give your reason? Angles around a point. The answer is O1 is 260, and I immediately write it in on my sketch. Then you write X equals 230 degrees with your reason. Angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Please stop the video and look at these two riders and see if you understand how it works. Right, in this question you must keep your piggies together. Using the theorem that we're busy with, we know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. But that's troublesome because we don't know what x is. What you must now remember is that this is the center of the circle, so these two blue lines are radii. And that means they are equal which means this angle and this angle will be equal. We start in triangle OAB, OAB in this triangle. Angle B will be 35 degrees, and I have to give a reason why I say these things. And the answer is radii. Now, still staying in this triangle that I'm busy with, this one, I write angle O1 over there, plus A plus B equals 180 degrees, but I must give me a reason why. I'm saying that, and that is interior angles of a triangle. Then using a calculator, I minus the 35 of the A and the 35 of the A from the 180, and I get angle O1 is equal to 110 degrees. I always write this 110 into my sketch then. Then I write X equals to 55 degrees, angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Please stop the video and look if you can understand everything that we've done. Here is our last writer for this video. I just want to show you something. Sometimes you look at a sketch like this and it, 
you don't feel happy with it, then you can just take the page in the exam or your textbook and you turn it around. If it looks better to you this way, you can put it sideways. Some people like it more this way, some like it this way. I'm going to leave it like this and answer it from this point of view. Another thing you need to remember in maths is you sometimes can't work out the value of that x immediately. So you take the numbers they give you and you shift it with the knowledge that you have. So I wrote 01 is equal to 80 degrees. Why am I allowed to say that? I must give my reason. Angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Then I go into triangle OCD. And I write angle C is equal to angle D is equal to X, which I wrote in here. Why am I allowed to do that? Radii. Now still working inside this triangle OCD. I can write 2x plus 80 degrees equals 180. A reason interior angles of a triangle. Then I just solve for x and my final answer is x equals to 50 degrees. You are in grade 11. You should easily with your calculator understand that you first minus the 80 from the 180 and then divide by 2. That's where this answer came from. And I always like to write my 50 in where the x is. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video. If there's anything in geometry that you're not sure about or any problem that you can't solve, please send a WhatsApp with a picture, clear picture of the problem to this number. Then we will look at it, analyze it, and make a small video for you and post it for free on this channel that everybody can benefit from your question. Enjoy geometry.